jump. No, no, yes, yes. Guys, welcome back to the beautiful state of Way for Roblox. Today we are back with a special video, and we have a returning star, Josh or Chawas ID F H V. And today we are back with our British track cars. So our basic video idea today is McLaren Sona versus Ashton Martin Wilkin. So these cars are both made for the track, high performance. I mean, they're 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 not like generally like the fastest and the fastest. But um, they're made for cornering and intense track driving. So yeah, and all these cars are British. And uh, today, uh, we can't wait to get started. So Josh, would you also like to say hi? What's up, YouTube? And uh, yes, Caleb is all right. We do have our British track cars here, ready to uh, rumble and uh, do some performance games. And uh, yeah, so should we get started? Yep, we shall. Right. Guys, so we are back and we are doing what we call the tradition which is just a straight line from here down to the bridge underneath the under the bridge past the drag ship. So basically this covers like most of the race fundamentals and will give us a chance for VTEC. If any of our cars have a higher top speed, yeah, we'll be able to catch up. And uh, from here, basically the end of the tunnel is basically just a drag ship. So, I mean, I guess you can consider that a drag race. And yeah, so shall we get started, Josh? Yep. All right, in three, two, one, go. Right off the line, it looks like the Senna just has a far better launch. I don't know about the Vulcan, but I mean, my car is keeping pretty straight. I mean, my acceleration from like 50 year onwards is a bit slow, and it looks like a beat drop. Oh my gosh! What the heck? Dude, I can't believe I'm losing. Dude, are you serious? I thought I was gonna beat you. Bro, this is surprising. This is some surprising stuff. Yes! We can catch up! Catch up! No! 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 Guys, we are back, ready for the cross country race. So right off the line again, I whooped the Ashton Martin, and it looks like the cornering in this car is kind of like hard to describe. It's not too amazing, but it's not too bad at the same time. It's just like it's like it's kind of like the Apollo IE, but a little bit more worse. But like, I mean, it's it. This car has a lot of understeer. Yeah, my car is like a mix between understeer and uh, regular steer. Oh gosh, dude, how are you doing better than me? Like, I mean, I have to break. Like, I mean. Wow, your Vulcan is seeming to do a lot better off the track. It's like every time- I don't want to have to take the corners too wide. I don't know. So I like it to all be clean and crisp. I mean, I'm just gonna see, but like, I think my car is best for high-speed corners. The only sad thing is this car doesn't have an active arrow. Oh my gosh, dang it. Dude, this car has tons of understeer, actually, thinking about it. I mean, it's like- Yeah, I don't know if I described this as understeer. I thought it was gonna corner a lot better. I'm losing to the Vulcan, guys. I'm actually losing. Dude, the Senna, come on, man. You have to push it harder, bro. Okay, there. I managed to corner a little bit more better than the Vulcan. And to closing some distance. But Josh, yes. Dang it. Okay. I'm actually closing in on him. And yeah, he's pulling away. Dude, it looks like his 14, 50 years are a lot better than mine because, like, he's accelerating. <laughs> and he takes it too wide. He takes it too wide. It looks like Josh has made a big mistake on his Vulcan. That's giving me the chance of, an, of a lifetime to overtake and steal the win. So right now, I'm like now in first place going down the hole. I'd like to see if we can catch up. The only problem with the Senna, guys, is that it's 4 and 5 gears, like gear 5 and gear 4. They're extremely slow. So, I mean, like, I mean, they, like, it just doesn't accelerate. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No! No! Don't do this to me! No! No! If I lose this. Okay, he takes it way too wide. I'm able to get on the inside and overtake. Looks like this car flips over really easily, though. It's very low to the ground. I don't know. I don't know about the Vulcan, though. Like, do you find your uh, suspension to be high or anything? Like, does it flip over the pieces of the road? Sometimes. Yeah, but I will have to give it to Vay for fixing the road issues because, like, there are little parts in the road that will make your car flip, but they remove those. So, I mean, now if you stick to the road, you'd be able to actually control your car. So, how will I take this corner right here? I mean, I kind of feel like this car can corner, but, like, it's just not too amazing. Like, it can just do it. It's pretty easy to control, in my opinion. Like, that's what I'm going to say, but it's not the best. Like, you can get better, harder to control cars, like the Apollo IE. Like, I mean, yeah, it's like, a, it's a pretty good beginner car if you just want something that's easy to use. 
That's like kind of what I'm going to say about it. It looks really nice, though. Wait, which car? The center. Like in most games, this car is meant to be easy to control. And it's it's actually pretty good at driving, too, in the cornering. So, like, right here, it breaks pretty well, in my opinion. Like, the braking isn't too bad on this car. Like, that's, like, the main, like, thing about it that's making it so good. But, like, right now, uh, I'm, I'm going to see if I can seal it off, like, at 200 seconds or something. Probably not. Looking at the time. If I miss any of these corners, I'm going to be mad. Okay, there. These are really clean corners. Really, really clean. Really clean. And, yeah, I think I'm going to seal the bin. I know. So how do you feel the Vulcan? Like how do you just, how do you find it? Like on the track. So like you kind of feel like I mean it's it's pretty friend it's pretty uh new friendly like on the on the steering wheel. Like you can you can pull it out you can unleash it if you need to. Yeah. I mean, I, I think my car is... Yeah, I find... I find... Yeah. Yeah, I find my car to be extremely easy to control. Or, like, I mean, like, the braking. So, if you, like, make a mistake, you can break yourself and build yourself out of that. But it just cannot unleash, like, the Vulcan can. So, that's the only downside to this car. I mean, it's pretty. It's a pretty simple car. Pretty uh, just made for those who just want an easy breeze, who don't have to try too hard, that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Like no sweat, any of that hard stuff. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty nice car though. Like, I mean, I don't know. Is it worth the 1.4 million? Probably not. But I mean, that's just what I'm gonna say. Guys, now this is the last challenge. What we're gonna do is we're going to make up our own made-up circuit race. I guess I don't know. So what we're gonna do? You're gonna start off here, go down this road. Um, you just take a right turn here, you have to make this corner super clean, and you're gonna have to, you know, hairpin, I guess. Right after this corner, you just go straight down. This is kind of like a straight for people who have top speed. So I guess this road of walking is gonna be more superior than my center. Right here, you're gonna have to brake really hard, take this corner clean. I didn't take that, I'm just like showing you guys an example. After you take this, you're gonna have to go down this corner, just drive straight down this road. So, um, now you're gonna pass back the building where you started. You're gonna have to take this corner really clean, too. So, this is all about really, really slow corners. It's all about making them clean. Like, you're not gonna be going too fast. After this, you're just gonna do the same thing, but take a left turn this time. You're gonna go straight down this road. Take a right turn right here. You're gonna try and cut on. You have to make these all clean, so it's not gonna be easy. You have to be, like, really trying hard. But you don't wanna have to go too fast, because then you're gonna mess up the corners. You're gonna take a turn here. Go past this bridge, and once you cross here, you win. That's a challenge. Josh, are you ready to start? Yep. All right. Three, two, one, go. Right off the line, the center just has far more better acceleration than the Vulcan. So I don't know if this is going to be more of a track that favors the center. Okay, I have to the brake pretty hard there. Make that corner. It's not extremely clean. And Josh takes that corner way too wide. Horrible. That should be like a... You know, like, I mean, a penalty. There has to be... Okay, okay, I make this corner pretty clean. I have to hit the handbrake, though. I mean, the car just doesn't turn well enough. Oh, gosh. I mean, these these corners are more just now, to be honest. Oh, Josh takes the corner way right too... On the inside. So, I don't know. You having a hard time with the walking? Because, like, these corners are so sharp. Okay, there. I'm already about to win. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There we go. That's pretty cool. I have, I have to be really slow. So these corners look like you can take them. Or it looks like you can take these corners really quickly. But like when you actually try to do that, you mess up. Okay, Josh is actually pretty close behind me. No, dude. Why did he do that, bro? You know, I'm just going to cut this corner. And I guess I should kick the in. My car just has far more better high speed. Or um like a low speed corner, I guess. Like the Vulcan, it just doesn't do the turning. Like its wing is made for high speed corners. Okay, guys, it is time now for the final overview. So, um, what we're gonna do, you're just gonna do the model spec. So, this is the skybox right here, so you can see underneath the car. Vulcan clearly doesn't have too much detail. I mean, you can see the rear diffuser. My car also has that rear diffuser and stuff, but I actually have detail underneath my car, so that's pretty cool. And, uh, once you guys notice right away on the Vulcan, is whenever you paint the, the Vulcan a specific color, the pure darker. Like, I mean, this is supposed to be the same color as mine, and this is how it looks like on the Vulcan. 
And that is kind of weird, to be honest. So, yeah, yeah, our rim design is actually the same. We have probably the same rims. So, um, that's interesting. I mean, the front diffuser, this is pretty cool detail. I like the center. You see the glass parts here. The spoiler. This car does not have an active aero. Or an active aero. You can see the, uh, the rear taillights or whatever. Oh. So, um, yeah, and the, I'm uh, pretty sure the looking, I don't know, these are some pretty detailed design, it's not over the top detailed, like, it's kind of, it's like a 4 out of 5, maybe a 3 out of 5, but like, when you go to the interior, the interior is pretty nice, it's not over the top detailed, I wouldn't give this a 5 out of 5, I would give this a 4 out of 5, if you can see there is some sufficient detail, I like all those buttons, everything, the seats are well made, but um, yeah, I don't know if I would give that like a maximum review, because like, this here, but I'd also call a 5 star interior. You can see all the details from the center, it looks really, really beautiful. Oh, yeah. So, uh, can you give us a cool startup? Sure. Oh, that's nice. I also forgot to mention, the uh, Vulcan has uh, these things, turbos, on the side of the vehicle. So, can you. Okay, guys, so we actually have a bit of technical difficulty. Apparently in the 4 you cannot see backfire, which is kind of sad. So I'm just going to show you guys my cold startup. It sounds like a used cold startup, to be honest. Let's go to Rev. I like that one. It's very solid, to my opinion. But no, it sounds like another car I've already used before. Yeah, I like that guy. I'll just be honest. No, I can't hear your Rev. It won't, like, it'll be too pixelated, so... Yeah. But guys, today we are now back at the final overview, so I just wanted to give you guys the prices. So my card was like 1.5 million, I forgot. You can sell it for like... No, how much does it sell? 1 million. Your car? My car was 1.8 million, and it sells for 1.8 million. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that's nice. So it seems like my car is just a lot more cheaper. I mean, okay, I'm just gonna say, I think the, uh, Stunner will probably win a challenge because it's just cheaper, overall better, but, like, what do you think, Josh? I can, I can, I can understand them, and I can see why it's just like that. Yeah, but, like, I mean, I don't know, like, I do think the Vulcan, I wasn't expecting the Vulcan to actually give me a really close race at our performance I'm street racing. thing. Yeah, because, like, I mean, everyone thinks this car is trash. I mean, it's not bad, I mean, I'm not saying it's good. Like, I mean, it's not as bad as people really portrayed to be, in my opinion. Like, yeah. And I also realized, his Vulcan is a lot more wider than my Senna. I don't know if it's just my car being that small, but like, let me just compare it to something else. Sam. Yeah, it looks like the Vulcan is really fat, actually. It's a big car. That's interesting. It's like, it's bigger than my, uh, to a Terra. So yeah. But anyway guys, thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this or found this helpful, please leave a like, and yeah, and if you, uh, Comment yep. down below if you guys yeah, and uh, yeah, so comment down below which car you like more down in the comments, and yeah, thanks for watching guys, and we will see you guys on the next one. Oh yeah, and one last disclaimer, if this video gets 1000 views in the next month, me and Josh will, um, get started on our giveaway which is the one million dollar accounting so yeah it's, isn't that right josh yep so let's just review the giveaway since it's been a long time the one the one million dollar account is kate Lewis Gordon, Jeff Gordon, well, i will create the account and kayla will grind one million dollars we need wait for it to go ahead and um just one million dollars overall and then give that account the account information to a random person who uh what is it? Likes the video? No, so comments down below. So okay, it depends. First we need to at least hit the thousand view goal. So if we do that, like if if, if one of these videos generally just gets a thousand views in the next month or so, we will do it. It's or we will at least do um the giveaway thing. So um yeah, if you want to be in that giveaway, make sure that you I don't know, share this with someone so the views can increase and then we can get onto the giveaway. So yeah. And uh yeah, it's good. I, I don't know if people are really going to participate in it. So, um, yeah, but, I mean, you have a really high chance of getting that $1 million account. Just know, because our channel isn't, like, too popular. How many people are really going to be contesting against 
just to try out all the different cars in Bay 14. Like, if you wanted to just try out the Acura M6, maybe it's just too expensive to rip off, but you want to drive it because you like the car. I mean, that, you can just use all that money, try out some cars that you already have, and you can you can keep that, it counts for keep. All you have to do um, is, once you get that deal with Bay started, just comment down below your account, what you want the account to be named, then we will do the raffle on your event account, we will make the account and do our grinding, and then we will hand it over to you. Alright, so yeah, and uh, thanks for watching that. We will like and share it with some other people who want that giveaway to happen. And yes, thanks for watching that, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!